What's up, guys? This is D with me, Universe, and this is going to be a new Ruby reaction. Ruby, Volume 4, Chapter 9, Two Steps Forward, Two Steps Back. Well, it, talk about, like, a very interesting title, but all right. Uh, I'm highly expecting, if not fully expecting this to be a, a, a Yang-centric episode, considering, well, the thumbnail pretty much confirmed that specifically. I can't wait to see how she's grown and adapted to her newfound uh, robotic arm and see where she goes from there. Right? If she's going to be getting back into the game sooner or later, I hope it's sooner. But let's just get started uh, immediately without any wasting more time. Okay. Whew. Hold on right quick. I need to get some sets up, set up done. All right. And three, two, one now. Let's go. Now, last episode really interested me in, in the lore of what happened and how the creation of humans occurred. It works out really well. Now, what to expect onward from that, from what the information they, they gathered from Crow here, I have no idea. But I, after, see, after hearing what Crow thinks about himself being like a bad luck charm, I have watched a show called Milo's Murphy's Law. And I believe Milo, from that show, can get into very good conversations with Crow. Maybe. You know, even though their bad luck kind of consists of differences, because I'm pretty sure when Crow said that, it means that people that he loves have gone from his life. And Milo, he's probably just gone through, like, a bunch of nonsense that he had to avoid. But, you know, it kind of, it, it kind of bounces out. Ugh. But... From everything, uh, mm. the the intro itself it, it it does show a lot of like spoilerific things once it gets to like uh, instances. Cause seeing a uh, Weiss dance around like that and then the summoning circle that we usually see it coming out probably expects what she did, what she did or what she is going to do inside of her room. Oh, it, it's it's the gang. Just trying to see if you didn't get rusty. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, that thing packs a punch. Well, it's a mechanical arm. I, I would expect it. I get it. You want to make sure I can still fight. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm doing just fine. That didn't hurt. I guess it did. You're close. <laughs> oh really? You're still off balance. What? No, I'm not. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly. I am kind of surprised. Do you? I thought it would just be this huge weight, but it feels an extension of yourself. Natural. Yeah. They did a great job with this thing. <gasps> Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> I wasn't talking about your actual balance. <laughs> eh. Although that could use some work too. Well then. <laughs> Granted, when I first saw her get her arm uh, chopped off, the first thing I went to is a mechanical arm, and then I kind of went flip flopped upon how my opinion of that would be. During the vital festival? But I like this. Let me guess. I was sloppy. No, no. You were predictable. And mm. stubborn. And sloppy. Maybe a little boneheaded. We're not sloppy. <laughs> All of these things, except that one. Do you realize that you used your semblance to win every fight after the qualifiers? So <clears throat> what? How is me using my semblance any different than someone else using theirs? Well, it's kind of like Goku because going Super Saiyan else God for every opponent, even game. though he should take him out in base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Once you take damage, you can dish it back twice as hard, but that doesn't make you invincible. Your epic revenge it's slash com the comeback manner. if you miss? <laughs> What happens if they're stronger? What then? Now you're just weak and tired. He has a point. You've always been one to burn brighter than everyone else. <laughs> it's kind of like she's a star. With your smile or, well, personality. Your first haircut. <laughs> oh, 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 that barber's dead now. Uh, we shouldn't talk about him. Keep your emotions in check. <laughs> keep a level head and think before you act. Your semblance is Have I heard that before? Back, but you can't let yourself rely on it. <laughs> it won't always save you. Obviously. 
<laughs> you gotta bring the, okay again it's not too soon anymore but you know mom's stubbornness mm. oh so now we could talk about her it's just like i don't know if that was a good well, thing or a bad thing to bring as up i have been informed you're an adult now remember ah he's getting there well, sorry i remind you of her don't be wow <laughs> nice hit Rita there was great in so many ways her strength her ambition Ambivalence toward good and evil. Whatever cause she thought was worth fighting for. I'm proud of how much of her I see in you. But. That's great. I'm glad I don't see all of her in you. Why? Well, you see, there are some things about her that, you know, whatever. Your mother was <clears throat> a complicated. Woman. I was about to say complicated. My guy. <laughs> Everybody, she had her faults, but those faults. <laughs> what tore our team apart <laughs> and they did a real number on our family you both act like the easiest way to tackle an obstacle is through it that's the strength fastest way toward point a and point fight. three and point b is at a straight line let you have a portal second look then maybe you see there's a way around as well you could have also hopped over him but i'm pretty sure you would have jumped or something come on <laughs> One more before dinner. I like the I like this guy and his and his manner and his mannerisms of teachings. It's good. It, it, it's not like Glossorix with stars. It's definitely more straightforward to order, which is something that someone I say yay needs. Nice, good hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, segments of this. I like. Now you're using your head instead of your up. Oh wow! Using your feet. Who are you and what have you done with Yang? <laughs> okay, here we go. If she's summoning what she think if what I think she's about to summon, then yeah. That'd be good. You want leave <clears throat> how hurtful and here i am about to offer you a favor oh great Others taking me into town to introduce me to some of his business partners i thought i'd see if you wanted me to pick you up anything since you're well busy stuck here <clears throat> yeah. are you jealous is that it whatever do you mean oh dude don't is say it that like that why you hate me are you jealous of my abilities of winters Hmm. No, not really. Are you sure? Honestly, I find it barbaric. It's beneath people like me, like father. What could a single huntsman possibly do that an army could not? Um. I don't have one, even if it is run by a fool. Dude, one can I equal a thousand if leave. skilled enough. So Fine. it doesn't matter. <laughs> Fine. I've got better things to do. I watched Enjoy the Seven Deadly Sins and training. It's definitely something. However pointless it is. What is your plan anyway? Eh. What do you hope to accomplish while trapped in your own bedroom? Would you like to know? Good one. Good one. Good one, Weiss. <laughs> so that guy. Lots of things to talk about that guy. Which the comment section has always, uh, already had, but whatever. Yeah. Wow. It's, he's right there, huh? He's just right there. Okay. They know you had a picture of the dude. <laughs> yeah, again with the intro, it pretty much already suspected what you were going to be doing. You know, with me and my horrible observation skills that have diminished over the, over the over the course of me doing reactions, I probably would have called it. Are you all right? I'm gonna name you Willard. That or he actually has a name. I need a favor. Probably does. He's gonna look it up later. <laughs> wow, we're getting everyone on. <laughs> gotcha. Come on, son, you can do better than that. 
Yeah, you're a little late for that, but whatever. At least for Sun's case. Right. Whoa! Okay. Oh, it's a whip! Why are you watching me? Reasons. Give it up! I'm not above hitting a girl, you know. Yeah, that's a problem here, dude. She, she, she doesn't care. She would rather hit you. So. Grab the scroll! Seems someone thinks it's important. Get I I, I I honestly almost forget about your about your semblance, man. You and your shadow clones, I mean white clones, whatever we want to call them. Let me guess you know her. Ilya. Yeah. Of course. Wait. You know her? That wouldn't I, I wouldn't be like oh. Is she like a chameleon? Okay, chameleon. Alright, I can go with that. No. You shouldn't have come back. Is there a reason for this? <laughs> that's a that's a pretty cool ability, I gotta say that much, but like now you just stick out. <laughs> I think Sun's too strong-willed to die. It's not like this. I'm worried hold still. On, just... just hold on. So many people are getting hurt. Just hold on, Uncle Crow. S speaking of hurt. Yeah, you yeah, never in this episode. She's not coming. Die. <coughs> it's getting worse. Yeah. How much it's delusional. He's Not saying random close. stuff. Without the map, there's no way of knowing. But I feel like we're close to something. What is it? Fork in the road? Mmm. Takes us up through the mountains. Guys, I don't know if all of us can make that climb. Mm. Why, okay. is, why is the world always have to be so unfair? What about this place? <laughs> Kuro, you think with Kuro, the X across it? Can we get help there? Yeah, no. That village was destroyed years ago. But if it takes us around the mountains, it's the best bet we've got. It will take too long. The town would have had a doctor, right? Well, maybe we could scavenge for medicine. Right. You're not going to find anything. We just have to press on. Ren, why are you acting? We can split up. Mm. Huh? Ren and I can cut through the mountains while you and Ruby take Crow around through the village. No, we're supposed to stick together. We keep each other safe. We don't have time for safe. If we make it to Mistral, we'll bring back help. If we don't, we'll at least have a better view of the land. I hate Up this tension. here, we can see if there's somewhere else we can go. <clears throat> dying. Kind of dying. Still. Yeah, that... Mm. It's the best I can do. <laughs> I did not notice how tall John is. Wow. <laughs> okay. Irrelevant thing to say at this moment, but God have I not noticed. <laughs> this is why Forks in the Road should never exist. They split too many people apart. 
You don't know that. No one does. But you also don't know they will not not be safe. Double negative. Oh, footprints. What? Oh, fantastic! A giant horse, I guess. Ugh. No, I don't even remember seeing a horse type grim. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Oh man, I'm, I'm, my eyes have been watering up lately in these past few reactions I've been doing. In, in any in any case, uh, just good good. Good. I love how this is this episode pretty much focused. Well, well not really focused. Well, basically, uh, flip flop through all, all all the characters and what they're doing. Starting off Yang and her ability of fighting and getting back into the fray of fighting. Lo love how she's going through. Love how she's adapting. First thing that I said as soon as she lost her arms, I we gotta we gotta do it. See, it's it's the fact of my own idiotic influence along with the influence of others, which I am not calling idiotic influence because influences of others only uh, pertain to what you feel about those influences are. Uh, as soon as I saw her get her uh, arm chopped off, I'm like, she's gonna get a robotic arm because they literally have a guy who is more machine than man at this point. It, it, it's it's a Star Wars joke. Anyway, uh, it, it, it's it, what, uh, whatever. Well, whatever. It, it, from from what I got is I'm happy to see Yang has has progressed uh, further into both her training, her skills, and also adapting to uh, the robotic arm. It's like she never lost it to begin with. Happy happy to know that. As for the next thing we got to see was, was uh, Weissner training of trying to summon the uh, armor that that we believe she fought in the uh, in her trailer. Uh, if that thing has a name, feel free to say it. If he doesn't, my name's Willard. His, his name is Willard. I don't care what you guys say. If, if he doesn't have, if he doesn't already have a name, that's his name for me. There are many like there are many like him, but this is his ours. So yeah. Also with the kid. Uh, again, but the more I see him, just more I see him, just icon. I, I, I can't visualize him in any other thing. Is he redeemable? Is he not? I don't care. Icon is up in the air for me. I don't even know what, he, what his story arc is supposed to be 100% is. Mostly because the whole point of him is supposed to be random and spontaneous. So, yeah, whatever. I don't know what they got for plans for this guy, but hopefully it's something on the track of path of righteousness, because every character needs to be redeemed in our way of life for some god reason. But whatever. Then we got Blake and what what she's doing. She she got to a chameleon person. I like how the hair reflects that. The designs of these characters are always so great. Anyway, uh, hopefully Sun is gonna be all right. I I don't see Sun just. I see him being out of commission, but I won't see him dead. That would be that'd be that'd be too heart wrenching. Like more than like other deaths in this series. I mean. God, don't don't do that to me. Uh, and then the finally we got what's happening with Ruby and uh, Crow. Crow is on the brink of death, but I'm pretty sure he's going to fight for his life for as long as he needs to. That and we got the separation of the group. Uh, and that's always going to be a, a good sign. And what's going to happen there? Don't know. Don't care. We got a giant horse, whatever, probably thing that's going around here. That's probably the size of like five mountains for all I know. So whatever. <sighs> So good, good nonetheless. We're gotten to the we're gotten to the stage where it's gonna be more horrible horribleness and less happy happy fun time joy joy because that's what all this is about. You always have to have drama. You always have intrigue. You gotta have some kind of conflict and make your life horrible because that's what life is about. I'm gonna go take a walk.